Yo, so it's come to my attention that with the recent change to uh, fly carriers and like RPGs where each stack they get, they get like a 5% debuff of healing or whatever, that demon hunters might become like one of the, you know, top tier fly carriers, right? Um, for like the lower MMR. And... You know, a lot of people ask me, like, well, what's what's the better FC, Guardian or Demon Hunter? And to me, Guardian is better at lower rated MMR RBGs because not a lot of teams know how to kite effectively and whatnot. But when it comes to higher rated, I personally believe that Demon Hunter tanks are the way to go only because they have such a high mobility. Um, because those those healing stacks they don't matter if you came and catch up to the demon hunter right but you have to have a, you have to have a really good team that helps peel and slow and whatnot but what I wanted to show you guys more specifically and in a lot of my recent games with a demon hunter on my team and on my enemy team is that they don't know how to res properly okay so let me let me just go mongoloid into this team real quick, right? Um, let me actually give you guys an idea of what I'm referring to. So, <clears throat> when you guys res, right? Your starting res point is right here. And you have a radius at which you can res at. But anytime there's like a rogue, most of the rogues will shadow step somebody else, shadow step you, um... All of that to start sapping right the best thing you can do is figure out how far away from the res point you can get to get away right because I know that usually when I play rogue right I'm already up here I'm already up here waiting on the demon hunter to res and if the demon hunter was smart enough he could come like right here right and you can't you can't shadow step through this wall okay you just jump and you're gone and that rogue is stuck in the graveyard probably just dropping and you're gone right so let's die real quick <clears throat> so that I can show you guys what I mean by this because I don't know I don't know how people don't know about this yet but with rogues becoming the meta they, they kind of need to know oh, shit come on guys so yeah so there's so you could spawn like you could spawn right here Right, you can spawn a little bit over here. You can literally spawn right here, right? Because that rogue is gonna shadow step this guy. He doesn't give a fuck about that guy. He's gonna be waiting for the demon hunter and RBGs, right? So the demon hunter spawns like right here, right? Spawn instant trample. Like quit fucking around, don't demon sight, quit wasting your time, and just get going, man. Okay? It is not that hard to get across the map at all <clears throat> but I hope this helps um, some other demon hunters we'll, we'll have to we'll have to see but yeah can I get away from this is the question. if I had another step I would but you guys get the point okay just quit being dumb demon hunters use your brain Spawn on the outside. Spawn even over here would be beneficial. Like right here. This is good. Because most rogues are sitting right here. Okay. But I hope this helps. Um, and I hope you guys have a wonderful day. And I will talk to you guys later. Peace.